Okay, and now we're back into the park. Okay, so this is this is not a park that I want to be at. No, no, it's not. This is. Oh, no. I, can't, I can't even relate it to anything. She can't run. Oh, wait. Nope. Can't run very well. Treachery hides in thoughts. Treachery that lashes like a whip and scars our insides. What? The first time I saw Callum, my thoughts betrayed me. I looked down at this wrinkled, red, bawling thing and I thought, is that it? What? We build our world from expectations, and the world that I had built for Callum was no different. He was so real, so there, and so far from my expectations. And they shattered, and as they fell in pieces, that one treacherous thought became a new foundation. All of the love that we shared, all of the warmth and goodness that followed, built on a single traitorous thought. Who looks out Wait, at and says, Oh, is that it? What were you expecting? There's that thing again. So, it's an alien. It is an alien. Stay away from me. Oh, so I did skip something. I walked past the House of Horrors. Oh, you did? Yeah, and I didn't want to go in there. And that was all the way at the very beginning. Constant crashes and 80s music. I guess it floats someone's boat. Isn't this the 80s? Uh, I have a feeling that... Uh, oh, cutscene. There's another letter in there somewhere. Well, because I watched the trailer for this, and uh, on the trailer, one of the one of the bumper cars flew through the little uh, room over there. Straps attached to the load of the truck came untied, causing a cascade of bumper cars onto <laughs> Fran oh, Francis. Oh, Francis got who, crushed. Francis, who was directing the drive. Francis was killed. Yeah. Francis was crushed by the weight of the cars. Francis Did, was. <laughs> Describe any injury causes. Francis was killed. Did but did the in the injured employee see a doctor? Yes. Post. <laughs> If yes, did you file the force down? The extra truck driver claims to have seen someone on the back of the load undoing the straps. Nobody else reported seeing that. The sheriff has requested that Dexter provide them with urine samples. So they're what seeing, so they think he's on drugs. Double chalking the straps after transit should be mandatory and drug screenings for all drivers. The local laborers are very superstitious and this has this hasn't helped. Some of them are refusing to return to work until we have someone from the local 
church, walk the park, and exercise the, the, the bad spirits. Oh. Oh. Yeah, oh. This, this was the ah. this was No, 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 no! Feeling that she's a psych patient. The roller coaster over there. I don't want to go over this, but I want to go this way. Because why not go towards the thing that was flying towards you? Well, it's not like it's flying anymore. It blew. It's down. It's dead. My other question is. That thing is not supposed to have any electrical charge to it because it's supposed to be run on those. Yeah, so what? Where's so the power coming from? Yeah. Because they don't hold any energy either. No, no. They might, they might hold a charge for maybe a second or two afterwards, but not anything lasting. It's a matter of public record that I am a failure as a mother. Once, when Callum was very small, I left him asleep in the car while I ran an errand. Don't even remember what it was. When I came back, the sheriff was standing next to the car, watching my boy through the window. I didn't like what I saw in his eyes. Judgment. He wrote me the ticket without saying a word. Just the scratch scratch of his pen on the notepad. When he gave it to me, our eyes met. I know what you're going through. My daughter, Helen, she... Just get some help. Help was a bolt of lightning. Help was a thousand volts surging through my veins. Help is agony. I'd rather die. I wanted to scream. I'd rather you pulled your gun and shot me. But instead my mouth said, yes, Sheriff. Decrease. 
increase speed. Decrease. One more time. Will grease. Is it? Looks like it. Yep. Rule, All right. Rule three is awesome. Okay, Chad. Time to get Time terrified. To Look us up, Chad. Oh, please don't violate me, Chad. What? This is gonna go super fast, and this thing's gonna like fly through the air because it's already moving faster. That's a lot of fog. <laughs> People come into your life for a reason. Dad used to say oh, that I before Mom ran off. After that, he mostly just drank. Things were different for Don so and I. High. When we met, I was sweeping the floor at Susie's diner. He came in with some workers, but oh, he didn't try to flirt or cop a feel like the others. What? He just ordered a coffee and sat there, watching me. When my shift was oh, over, he legs? offered yeah, to walk me home. God. She has very thin legs. I don't know how to describe that walk. He talked right, and laughed and eventually kissed. Go wrong. It felt like love. It felt like a fairy tale. I can't yeah. tell you if Callum was made that night or one of the ones that followed. But I think it has to be that night. That one perfect night. Don and I moved in together, but then, well, he died. According to the supervisor, his safety harness failed when he was working on the top of the Ferris wheel. Don was there one moment, okay. and then gone. Okay. Sometimes people leave your life for no reason. I was three months pregnant with Callum. Fairy tale fucking over. something behind him too like probably oh they have the sounds of like the the metal like straining against the wind is that what that is yeah oh sure all right i need to go this way this game does have an amazing like atmosphere to it yeah, the atmosphere is kind of putting me on edge. Oh. oh, good. There's a there's a Ferris wheel car. Cause it hit a lamp. Stay where you are. Did did he say that? Or I did. I guess there's a. You know, we haven't been looking for. It scared me a little bit. What the, the wheel? Yeah. We haven't really been looking for our kids. Hey, doll. Please go home. Why are there dolls in every game? Why? Are dolls are creepy. They are. I don't get it. No garbage. A lot of people idolize their children. You hear them talking about their kids and just the way they talk? Their fucking voices make me want to vomit. My angel likes to read, and little Johnny is so good on the piano. Fuck those people! You give up nine months of your life carrying them, you traumatize yourself giving birth to them, and then you spend the rest of your life as their slave. Wiping asses, mopping a piss, feeding them. Little life-sucking monsters who take and take and take until... We all go insane. Any parent who pretends otherwise is just dishonest. That's called choice supportive bias. I am honest. Callum really grinds my gears, and he owes me everything. Everything! It served the little fuck right if I just abandoned him. 
All right, well, let well, me just the let Hansel me, and let me, Gretel let me, makes sense. Let me let me just let me just leave the park then, please. Let me just leave the park. I just want to go. Are you, can you still call out for him? Yeah, I can. Callum, tell mommy where you are. Yeah, she sounds like distressed now. The roller coaster. All right. I always wanted to ride this one. Never got around to do it before. That and then, if the park is closed, why are the gates still active? Right? I'm still trying to figure out when this takes place. It's like, okay, so the sign said 1977 is when it opened. Yeah. And they said, oh, it opened the same year that Colin was born. Colin's not that old. Colin's six, seven. Are you gonna be in here? Hey, friend! Yes. What do you want? We need to talk about Callum. What do you mean? What have you done oh, to him? Oh, behind me! Oh my god! Uh, that's insulting. You and your boy are everything that this place doesn't want. The antithesis of what we stand for. Where is Callum? The poor child. He tried so hard to do what he was taught. He even left you a trail of breadcrumbs. But the park is just so hungry. Tell me where my son is. Which has it now? Has both of you? No happy ending here, I'm afraid. Is it no? Just, just leave me alone. Fool, you always were. Look at, look at the nice park. Look at the nice part. Oh. Oh. Oh, she is fucked up. Is she? I don't know. What's going on? So I feel like you try and look for him, but you're supposed to go on each attraction. And you're not gonna be here. You didn't have to slow this one down. Oh, we paid. It works. The calculation and adjustments work. The transport and storage mechanisms seem to be flawless. What a wonderful day. If only the people knew what they were what they were fueling. Fueling? It says fueling, right? Mm -hmm. Feeling? It's fueling. And so what if a few people leave the park at the end of the day feeling down? So what if the children are more scared than excited on the roller coaster? This could be a doorway to immortality. And such doorways open only to those who have the will to find the key. That's okay. I'm gonna go now. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Bye. 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 Thanks. I'm just gonna walk. <laughs> okay, I bye, can't bye. even run. I wish you could jump. Just, just play like Borderlands and how like you traverse like the maps and just jump across the whole thing. Because mm -hmm. jumping is always faster than running for some reason. That and rolling. Yeah, I've never, I've never understood. No, why. because it takes a lot of effort. <gasps> Flashlight. The witch awaits. What? What witch? Which which? That's I can help you, Callum. Why did I pick up a flashlight? How do I use said flashlight? Why'd you walk out the gate? Man? Callum has bruises on his arms, finger marks. Someone has been hurting him. I've asked him, demanded really, to know where he got the marks, but he doesn't want to answer me. Something has scared him into silence. He doesn't dare talk. He's been changing too. 
Something sinister lurks in the darkness behind his eyes. I catch him staring at me at odd moments. In the night, he tosses and turns and cries out words that I cannot understand. When I try to soothe him, he snaps and bites at my fingers. I think he wants to talk to me. I think he wants to tell me. But they are watching him every minute of every day. They are whispering to him in his sleep, changing him. They are taking my baby away from me. I can save him. There will be pain. But I love him and in the end, he will understand why. What is she is that oh. Okay, so I can't go up there. No. What if she's hurting him? What if she's Chad? Like, you know, like she wears a suit. Well, she can't be wearing a suit. Not right now. But maybe this is like a psychotic break. She's having a flashback. And so, it's kind of like a dissociative identity disorder. Personality split. Sideshow alley. Oh, I don't like this. Is, this is gonna get bad. Yep. I don't like this. Let's read the newspaper. The whole terrified. town was shocked by that one. Never found out who did it. Cotton candy corpse leaves a sour taste in Tucker. That's gross. Ew. Yesterday evening, visitors to Atlantic Island Park were shocked and horrified to discover by the discovery of a dismembered corpse behind a cotton candy stand. According to the local authorities, the corpse had yet to be identified. However, they have confirmed that the remains appear to be those of a child. The corpse was discovered by a group of teenagers from Ismoth Academy? I don't think I'm saying that right. But notice a pair of notice a pair of ravens tugging at something. Just out of sight behind the shack. Nathaniel Winters, the owner of Atlantic Park, has released the following statement. It's a true tragedy when something like this occurs, especially in a place that was designed to be uh, designed to bring forth happiness and joy. The staff at Land Park offer condolences to the family and friends of the victim and will cooperate fully with the authorities to help bring the case to rest. The Solemn Chronicle will provide daily updates on the story going forward. So they, hey, teddy bears. What, do you think that's column? That they found behind the uh, cotton candy machine? I heard whispering. Whack a jack. I'm so uneasy right now. Oh! I wonder where it's going to take me. Hmm, gee, I wonder. Oh good, blood smears. Well, this is where they don't lie. Poor bastard. Who did this to him? Oh, I thought he was going to jump out. Back up. Something's behind me. Turn around. How about how about turn around? How about we save this for the next episode? You think that now this is a finale? Man. Hi, Chad. Oh, 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 out of this park. Okay then. What do I need to do to get out of here? There has to be, another, there has to be something else that I'm missing. Well, you didn't go left. No, I did go this way. Did you? I didn't go into the center. Area, really. 
Because there's something right there. Hey, good. The, these are mine. Good. Well, it's got 100 milligrams of something. Oh. <sighs> 80s. Boogeyman. You're the boogeyman. Stop picking your nose then. Don't believe anything they tell you. Fuck gravity. What? Something, Something about daughter's, daughter's hot. hot. Your, your mother. mother. Say no to graffiti. <laughs> that's, fun. that's a good one. I like that one. Thank you, baby. Oh, this is kind of cool. Just trip the balls over here. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Oh. 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 What are... Who are you? Hey, buddy. Oh. Okay. Turn around. This. Pretty good. Suspended in air. Oh, because you came in here looking for a teddy bear. I'm so confused with what I'm supposed to be doing right now. I don't know. He say turn around. Yeah. Pushes you back. So I'm assuming you go in the direction of the teddy bears. Just keep going that way. What's this? Oh, good eyeballs. There are eyeballs. God, this tip is still like really sensitive. Oh. Uh, yeah. Don't but. touch me. So I'll count them. Yeah, hold on, hold on. Yeah, I'm gonna. How about we end this right here? Okay. I thought this was gonna be a family, but it looks like we got a little ways to go. Just a little bit longer. Yeah, so we're gonna pick this up right away. So, uh. Pickled punks. Yeah, we're gonna find out what pickled punks are. So, right. see you guys in the next episode. Bye bye. Stay out of amusement parks. They're not fun anymore. Nope, nope, no.